Hi, it's Fiona Bolton here and thanks for joining me. I am live today as I am every Wednesday doing my fertility Q&A Wednesdays. And today I want to talk about sperm health. And this is because of a question that I've received from one of my fertile friends in my fertility help group. Now that is a private Facebook group. Feel free to join it if you've got any questions that you would like me to answer anonymously via video. So this question came in and it says, hello Fiona, how possible is it for a man diagnosed with fertility problems in which he's told he's producing abnormal sperm and the chances of it becoming normal are at 3% and so that means our chances of conceiving are around 3%. So this is something that she's been told. Hey Jerry, thanks for watching. Um, this is what she's been told and whether it's just been told by an IVF clinic or a doctor, I do want you to know that your body is designed to heal. Your body is designed to return to a state of fertility. Being in a state of jeopardized fertility, of infertility or subfertility is not natural. So what we want to do is kickstart your body's healing abilities. Hey Ian, thanks for watching. Um, kickstart your healing abilities. And so as that you can really regenerate your body from the inside out. And I have the techniques that, that do that with all of my clients. Now, what we're talking about here is sperm morphology. So we want to create better shaped uh, sperm. So sperm is basically, when you're looking at your fertility tests, how well it's shaped. So we don't want it to be deformed. You don't want the DNA fragmentation. You want it to have good speed and good volume. So lots and lots of sperm, really speedy sperm, not sluggish and obviously good shape. So we're talking about the shape now, the morphology. And what actually denatures sperm more than anything else is radiation. And you're getting radiation exposure from your mobile phones, from your laptops, iPads, or tablets that are resting on your crutch, on your, on your thighs. See, when the men's thighs heat up, it heats up the testicles, and the testicles need to be cooler than the rest of the body. So it's important that you stop frying the sperm. Now, male sperm regenerates every three months, which is amazing. So if you're on the right protocol, if you're ticking all the boxes and helping your body to completely regenerate and rejuvenate, then you'll be able to improve sperm health. And I see this with all of my clients to date, and I've been in the field since 2007. So if you're really serious, I recommend, yes, get rid of the radiation, turn Wi-Fi off at nighttime, etc. get phones out of the pocket, laptops off the, the lap, um, use a cushion, just try to minimize the amount of Wi-Fi radiation, get rid of the heat exposure. So that could be from synthetic underwear, from hot yoga, from cycling. There's all those lifestyle activities. But if you really want to improve your DNA, and that's what it comes down to as well. So wanting to improve the, the morphology and make sure that you have a happy, healthy baby. We want to improve your chances of this by therefore increasing your metabolism, which increases your cellular regeneration. And we would then want to detoxify what's already there, detoxify the things that are inhibiting the sperm at the moment. And then we want to build the energy, build the life force energy back into the sperm so that the sperm can regenerate at its optimum level of frequency and vitality. That is key. So we want to work on that deep cellular level there. So when we're doing that, when we're able to work on that deep cellular level, it means that we need to look at what's affecting your cells. So your cells are responding to the nutrition that you're getting or not getting, the sleep that you're getting or not getting, the amount of stress or, or stress management. Hey, John, thanks for watching. Thanks for the wave. And we also want to look at um, what's happening mentally and emotionally because that also affects your cellular health. It's true. What it, it comes down to epigenetics, and I've got an epigenetic protocol, meaning we can actually change your DNA and improve your DNA and improve your genes, which affect your DNA, actually. Um, it's really working on that gene level where we can therefore eradicate what's happened um, genetically, what you might have been inflicted with genetically, and eradicate some not so healthy lifestyle choices that you've made and regenerate the body. So we wanna work on the mind and the body. Now I have an amazing course that sets, sets out exactly what to do step by step over three months. Now, if you'd like to have a consultation with me so I can go through in detail how I can help you, and what I'd recommend to improve morphology. And then not only that, once we've improved the sperm health, which really only does take 90 days, 
then we want to make sure that you're able to hold the pregnancy through to full term. So if you're miscarrying in the first trimester, usually, not always, but usually it's due to sperm health. So we want to make sure that the sperm health is vigorous, is really healthy. And then we want to make sure that your womb is able to hold your embryo through to full term. So it's, it really does rely on more than just the sperm. We want to go a little bit deeper into this. Hi, Teg. Thanks for watching. So in addition to that, I recommend sign up to my Fertile Lifestyle um, newsletter. It's the awakeningfertility.com forward slash newsletter. And when you sign up to the newsletter, you will get access to me for a one-to-one -one consultation. You can apply for a one-to-one -one consultation. And I would love to go a little bit deeper if you are suffering with any kind of fertility issues or you might be suffering with specifically this sperm issue where you're wanting to improve your chances of being able to conceive and improve your chances of improving sperm health in general so you have a healthier baby. So I also recommend that my clients do fertility qigong. Now I have attached a link to my fertility qigong DVD which you can download onto any of your devices and watch. Now it's really, really easy to do and it's incredibly therapeutic. It's used in hospitals in Korea, China, and Tibet. That's how powerful it is. The movements are a lot easier than yoga, but you can combine it with yoga if you want to. They're very yang-based, so fast energy, fast healing, really building the energy into the body. That's what qigong means, building the life force energy into the body, and that's what you want for the sperm. Ah, oh, thanks, John. Thanks for the thumbs up and the well done. So sending you lots of infinite fertility blessings. I know for a lot of you out there, fertility can be a struggle, but it doesn't have to be. So please do get in touch and end your suffering, and I would love to help you. On that note, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you back here every Wednesday as I do my fertility live Q&As. Thanks again. Bye for now.